Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and today is Lizard Skins Tape Alternative Grip Review. Um, so far I've reviewed Tacky Mac, Butt End, Sniper Skins and this one is the Lizard Skins Review. I'll have a summarization video of which one's my favorite in the future. So check that out. It will also be linked in the description and at the end of this video. So Lizard Skins come in at about $17 Canadian, which is kind of right in the middle of the pack. Um, they're main benefit is that they're totally customizable and that they come in a roll of the material itself and then you wrap it down uh, your stick as you can kind of see and you can kind of peel back now i did a this is pretty similar to how um you can use tennis grip for but i found this one lasts a lot longer and it's much grippier than the tennis grip i had so i would go back to lizard skins before i would go back to tennis grips so with that said um lizard skins I guess they're kind of like I said they're in the middle they do have this pretty cool part where you can put your number and your name at the bottom of it right there um, but their huge benefit is that you can do anything you want underneath the lizard skin itself to get your custom grip uh, to match what you want basically so with tacky Mac they have like a few different models there's about four or five some of them are wrapped like through uh, through I think it's called a cane wrap so it's like if you rolled up a piece of tape and wrapped it around your stick um, other ones are just normal grips. So lizard skins, with one of them, you can do whatever you want on it. You can have no knob, you can have a bigger knob like this one, you can have a like a normal knob like this, or it's a little bit smaller. You can have a giant knob, you can end the, the grip down here. You can do all the custom things you want with it, and you can tape underneath to make like bumps and grooves if you want. So that's a huge benefit in my eyes. They're not really reusable in the sense that they're not really designed to be reused. Um, I mean, you could take it off and put electrical tape at the bottom down here to hold it in place, but it will lose its grippiness. And uh, so it's not really made for that, but I'm sure you could use it if you really, really wanted to. For me, because I kind of hoard sticks, it's not really necessary to make have a reusable grip for me because I will just buy a new stick before it breaks and put a new grip on it. Because then I like to rotate them a lot as well. So this grip has gone through a lot of use, mainly because this stick is honestly not one of my favorites, but it's a like a high-end stick so if I ever play in a chippy game or like a playoff game that I know will get kind of dirty um, I'll bring this stick out because if it breaks and I'm not that upset about it I mean, you can see a lot of the dirt on it and how dark it is as it was obviously bright yellow um, and you can see the wear right here like I said this is one of my most used sticks and even with that wear it's much like it's well one obviously it lasts longer than hockey tape but it won't wear out your palms like hockey tape will and I'm still confident using this uh, stick grip obviously this one is much newer and so hopefully that kind of shows up um, the one thing that I don't really like about lizard skins is their color options they don't have well I hate that the, whatever these are um, but they do have a lot of options for like normal colors like this one matches really well with the alpha colors um, so that's a good option there that I'm pretty happy in that regards but I do wish they had something a little bit more these are really hideous the only reason I bought this is it was the only one available when I bought this stick um, the store was sold out, but for that. The price puts it right in between Tacky Mac and Butt Ends. And with that, I think it's kind of a good mix. Um, I'm still a fan of Tacky Macs because they work really well for me, but Lizard Skins does give you that customization option that is really nice. And so I, I kind of recommend them, these, for in regards to that. As well as because of how this is so customizable, you could also make this a goalie grip for the paddle. So you could just wrap this around the paddle to get a little bit more grip on the paddle if that's what you wanted. So that's always an option too. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm really happy with lizard skins. I definitely recommend them if people don't want to go the tacky mac route or if they're not really available locally because these are available in more stores. They are more expensive, but they give you great customization options and they give you like there's a ton of colors and they're kind of just like the best of everything I would say. Where tacky mac's cheapest, but it's not quite as as many options they're harder to find butt ends is really expensive and reusable but it, so this is kind of the best of like all both worlds and kind of like directly in the middle for that i would recommend them um if you have any questions let me know it's about sums up this review for the lizard skins not a ton i really can say about them um besides, oh actually one other thing is they do come with this kind of this cover on the top mine has kind of ripped through as you can see um my other one is totally fine but it does help if you have the butt end, like the, the top piece of the composite stick still there. Mine does not, and that's why it's kind of breaking in because Warrior's really known for their plastic caps to fall out. 
Uh, so anyways, that's about it for the lizard skins review. Like I said, I would recommend them. They're kind of the best all around grip. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hate to say, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are both found in the description. Just helps me get more gear so I can do reviews on and talk about equipment and jerseys and stuff like that. Um, again, also at the end of this video, there'll be the links to what grip I think is the best and why you should use tape grips over normal tape. So that's it. Take it easy.